What's good guys, today we're going to be learning how to do some really cool realistic Photoshop watercolor effects on some Studio Ghibli films. Let me know down in the comments below which one is your favorite film. I learned this effect recently I was really shocked to know how easy it is to use so let's get to it. Alright guys, we're going to open up Photoshop and we have that epic scene of Chihiro and No Face where he's trying to give her that gold in the spa. So we're going to drag that in and the first thing we want to do is convert that image into a smart object down in the layers panel. And what this will do is for us to be able to put a bunch of effects onto it and be able to edit it. And also we could go back after we have a really cool watercolor effect that we've applied to and change that image so we don't even have to redo the effects completely to a new image. We just have to update that original one. And I'll definitely show you how in the and after we have a watercolor effect that we like. What we want to do next is go to filter, filter gallery, and we're going to press the dry brush tool. And this will give us a really soft and watercolor-esque feel that will blur the details because in watercolor, things kind of shift and isn't as precise as digital, right? So this will give us that effect of colors and lines slowly blurring into one another. So we're going to play around with the brush size and brush detail. And after we have something that we like, we're going to hit OK. And the next thing we want to do is go to filter, filter gallery again and now we're gonna go to cut out and what cut out would do is simplify the shape even more so we're just gonna play with the number of levels and edge simplicity and also edge fidelity and it might look super drastic at first but what we could do is on the layers panel we're gonna just click on that little diagram with the two lines and two arrows hit pin light and this will help us to mesh those two effects together and after we have that done we want to add a smart blur and it's gonna open up this panel that we play with the radius and threshold it gives us a little view port where you can see how that effects take place so after we hit that you can see all the details soften a lot more and we can always go back and play and edit things here and there all right last up we want to do is go to filter gallery again stylize and then we're gonna do find edges and what find edges is going to do it's gonna bring back some of the dark line weights that slowly disappeared throughout the filter effects that we've done so what we want to do is after find edges we're gonna double click the two bars with the icon on the right hand side again set it to multiply and then we could change the opacity to make those lines be more subtle and now I set it to 31 that feels good and that's pretty much it what we want to do is do a cool beautiful watercolor blur around the image itself because the, the edges right now are way too clean in the composition we're gonna make the whole thing a smart object so all of those effects are applied in that image itself we're gonna expand the border so we can bring in that canvas paper texture in there so I'm just gonna expand that more and then we're gonna drag in that paper reference we want to click on multiply for the paper so that it blends in with the image a lot more better and now we're going to click on the mask tool on the bottom right corner on the layers panel and this will allow us to slowly going to brush in the painting in similar to how watercolor is really done usually photoshop has generic brushes that aren't the best aesthetically so you can go and download a bunch of free ones on the adobe website i've included the one i'm using on the link below and it's totally free what you want to do is just organically brush around the image and really get to know where the edges end so you can brush away from that and what i do is click on as much brushes as we want and really just test it out because you know there's like maybe around 20 to 50 types of brushes so you know there's a lot of options that you could choose and each one has its own specific effect like one has like a splatter effect that's really cool that we can use as well so we want to paint around it slowly and surely and also play with the opacity as well to get something that we really like And after that's feeling really good, I'm gonna use that cool spatter effect and just spatter around the edges, the right and left hand side too, just ever so subtly to give it a little bit of imperfection that makes watercolor so unique. So yeah, that's feeling really good. We're gonna go back into the smart object and through the different layer panel, we're gonna replace the image to some other iconic Studio Ghibli films like My Neighbor Totoro. Make sure to Command S, save that smart object so it'll update into the canvas composition that we're working off of. And as you can see, we didn't have to do any work. We already did all the hard stuff and it already applied that effect to us, which looks really cool. We're going to put in House Moving Castle, my favorite Studio Ghibli film. The epic scene of the castle moving on the mountains and the effect really looks beautiful on what we've already done with the original Spirit Away one. We're just going to save that and that looks super sweet. And lastly, we're going to do House Moving Castle where Sophie and Hal are in his room with all these really cool trinkets around. So it'll look really cool with this effect. So we're just going to 
kind of drag that image in command s that and bam and you can see it's really beautifully done how this watercolor effect applies to super complex and detailed artworks it really minimizes while retaining some of those details but giving it that cool aesthetic watercolor effect so yeah those are some cool images that we apply the watercolor effect to all right guys, hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Excited for you to create some really cool and funky stuff with this watercolor effect. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. If you wanna see more videos like these, please subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.